David, we're in the wide open spaces. My now, where do they hide? <laughs> I don't know where they, <laughs> where is the whitetail here? Of course, we're after big whitetail bucks. We're going to see if we can get after them a little bit this week. David, we're here. I think we could say to old Toto, we may be in Kansas again. We, we made Welcome. it. You guys make it? Hello. We did. Yeah, David Chasey. Nice, nice to meet you, sir. Good to meet you. Great Mark meeting Mark. you. How are you, sir? Good. I'm Good. mighty glad to be here, We're I'll glad tell to have you. you. For a whitetail hunter, though, this is not quite what you typically expect for whitetail deer. Yeah. When we arrived, I could not believe there were whitetails in this country. It is wide open. I couldn't wait to get out there and see exactly what these whitetails were doing, where they were living, what they were eating, and why were they as big as they were. Along with mule deer, this country is crawling with big whitetails right out in the middle of these plains and prairies. Unbelievable. Well, let's get our stuff and get ready to right, go shoot those rifles. Dave, what you shooting there? This is a 140 grain Acubon. That is a wicked cartridge. I can't imagine a better cartridge for deer sized animals than that. Let's get sighted in so tomorrow when we go after them in earnest, we're in the money. All right, everybody ready? Yeah. Ready. Inch, inch and a half high right in the middle. That's where it's perfect. The inch and a half. You know, Dave, when all things are said and done, you just can't beat a Sako. David Sashi now tests Morris's contention. Nothing wrong with that. Well, let's get ready, because right. tomorrow we're going hunting. Let's do it. All righty. I mean, this spot all through here is good. There's, there's some big bucks down there. We checked our rifles, and then we went out to look around and maybe try to find a whitetail to start our hunt the next morning. And sure enough, as the afternoon got later, whitetail started popping up right out in the open where you'd been looking and seen nothing. All of a sudden, we saw this big buck probably a mile and a half away. And our plan was to be back in there the next morning, set up at daybreak, and watch where they bed up. I see it right from here with these 10 pounds of binoculars. White one, did Yeah. But once they lay down, then we were gonna make a stalk on them. This is our first morning here in uh, eastern Colorado, and we're very excited. We saw a big buck yesterday afternoon. We're yeah. going back in that same area this morning, hoping to catch him coming off those crop fields, make a stalk on him. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's All gonna right. be a fun day. We got up the first morning, opening day of season here in eastern Colorado. We headed out, got there well before daylight, made our move, got in position. As daylight broke, we began to see deer coming down on those side hills. We could see here's a buck over here, here's a buck. So we wanted to be very careful not to let them know we were there. He's dark on one and one we're after. But as soon as it got light enough, we picked out our buck. He's right on the fence, man. You may not be able to quite see him. There's a deer right up here. We're in the right spot. We gotta be careful. I could not believe that that same big buck that we'd seen the day before. Here he came, easing back down the hill to exactly the same spot. Took him about 30 minutes of just milling around on that hillside. And finally, from a mile and a half away, we saw him lay down. And that was our cue. We knew then we had a shot at making a stalk and getting up on that deer. He's in exactly the same spot we saw him yesterday afternoon. It looks good. I think we got a good shot at him, don't you? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, absolutely. Look, he's he's went and laid in the same weed patch. I think if we can just get over there, and if he stays right there, I think we're gonna have a good chance right. of getting him. The wind's good too. Yeah. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. You know, it's not very often that a plan actually works the way you lay it out. But that morning, everything worked perfect. We eased into position, staying downwind of the deer. We finally got to the little hill that we thought, okay, he should be right on the other side. And that dude is right there. Yeah. Get down. Get down. What I want you to do, David, is I want you to stay here, okay? okay? And you and I are gonna just crawl right up over here because that deer's moving back Got over it. there towards that doe. Got it. Okay, so All we right. need to try to crawl over we here and crawl. see if we can, yeah. Because look, if they go around that corner and we can't see them, we're gonna be, we're gonna be out of the game. Got it. So we need to go, okay? Good, Good luck. Thank you, Dave. We just gotta crawl right here. We gotta stay down. You gotta I'm stay down low. Okay. Now we're barely crawling. We just had to get down on our knees and crawl because we had to come over the curve of the hill to get the shot and expose ourselves. We're gonna go right here, and I'm gonna get the sticks up, okay? When I get the sticks up, come up with me, 
and then he's gonna be right there. He's just going to the left, okay? Okay. Yes, yes. yes. Boy, I'm telling you, my blood was running pretty good about that time. And we get to a certain point, and Aaron says, we got to take him down. Get on, get on, right there, get on, right there. He sees us, man. You got to shoot him. You got to shoot him now. I'm going to take him now. OK, hit him again. Hit him again. Yeah, get on. Get on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm take him again. OK, shoot take him again. again. Shoot him again. Hit him. OK, he's hit. Just wait. He ain't going anywhere. You're down. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, what a good job, job you did putting us on that. That's hey. a good bop. Good hey, job, Dave, thank you. Job. Thank you. That is a good deer. I had my buck, and believe it or not, on opening morning, that never happens on the bucks of Tecumani. And you said it was going to happen fast, and it did. As soon as we committed to the shot, he yeah. picked us. Yeah. He had us. Yeah. He was already nervous. I think that doe was moving across the hill. Yeah. We were celebrating, and I'm telling you, that's what whitetail hunting is all about. Aaron was excited about it. Dave was excited about it. I was in shock that we actually had this deer. Golly. Yeah, okay. Let's go see what we got. <laughs> By 9.30 that morning, I had a giant buck on the ground. Where is he? Right on that, right on that ridge line. Where that got little, little bush there. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't wait to get down there and put my hands on him. Oh, huh? shit. Put <laughs> it here, man. Holy <laughs> smokes. Oh. When you walk up to a big mature whitetail and first really get a look at him, it's just one of the most intense moments in hunting. Look at that. Good job. <laughs> Aaron, that was one heck of a job, man. This buck ended up grossing 172 and 7 eighths. I aged him at six and a half years old. That's what we like to take on the bucks of Tecumani. That's what we call a Tecumani buck. What I really like about it is that we can drive the truck right to him and all we don't have to drag this big old brute. That's a 250 pound plus deer, no question. I will definitely get the truck here somehow. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> what a hunt, what a morning. I love Eastern Colorado. Now it's pal David Sashi's turn. We took David's deer in, and then about four o'clock, we all headed back out here and took us out. We sat on a bluff overlooking on the creek bottom. And there's one particular point that the deer seemed to come out of. Right here, right here's a buck. Look how mature he is, see a blocky buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's another buck right there. A newcomer. Yeah, he is running after that dough. And he is moving it, and he's a good deer. Got towards dark, and there was no, no chance of making a stop, so we left the deer the same as we did with David's buck. We're going to probably come back in here in the morning, try to get back on one particular buck, big mature buck. There's a lot of deer in here, so we'll be back in here in the morning. It has been one heck of a first day here in eastern Colorado. It's an absolutely wonderful place to hunt. Now, day two of the season, and it's friend David Sashi's turn. Well, this is our second morning. David Sashi is up. We saw some nice deer last night. One of them we think we'll shoot. Hope we can catch him in that same area. Watch him bed down, make a stalk on him, and then score on a big white tail. It's a great place, eastern Colorado. We had picked the hill we were going to sit on yesterday afternoon, and we were moving quickly because we wanted to get over towards that point before the deer arrived. We needed to try to get into a location where these bucks were going to funnel into a little corner and try to see if we could intercept them in the meantime to spook the other deer that were mingling in and out and in different places. And when we got down in there, we were working our way along the willow pockets there. Finally, right in front of us at about 50 yards, I saw a doe moving through the willows. There's a doe to the right. Come on, come on, come right here, come right here. Aaron stopped quickly, put the bog pot up and said, here, get on the stick, get on the stick. Just wait, just wait, that doe kind of sees us, okay? And the doe saw us, a couple more deer in the area, blew and turned and, and ran away. Doe, doe, doe. Just wait, just wait. There's a bug coming. I still haven't seen him. See all those does going through there? Yeah. There he is, right there on the hill. See him on the hill? Yeah, give me, somebody give me a rest. Just shoot him if you can. Uh, Only if you can. No, no, sure, not sure. No, I'm wobbling too much. Okay, don't don't take him if no, you can. It's not no, much of a shot, Dave. Okay. All right. That's a good bug, though. It was too shaky. I just couldn't make the shot. We were kind of disappointed about that. Okay, just wait, because there's other deer are still back in there. Okay? Yeah. Hey, there's a bunch of deer down there. Oh, look, there's that other big buck right there, right there. Right there. That's the big bean buck right there. There's a couple of does there with him. Wait, wait, that doe move. Okay. Come on. Give me a shot. Okay, come on. You got to get on. You got to shoot him. Just take the safety off and squeeze it. 
find you. Take him. Hey, I'm running. You hammering him, Dave. You oh, hammering him. Put your gun on something. You hammered him, man. Congratulations. Thank you, buddy. You hammered him. And I just asked for a shoulder, and the crosshairs fell in place. I shot him, and it was over. I've got quite a beautiful buck. I tell you, I'm really happy with him. I just oh, wanted to keep an eye on him make sure he was down. He's down, he's down for he good. Just hammered him. I can't tell you how special it was to me to hunt with David Sashi on this hunt. I got more enjoyment out of watching David and seeing the joy and the excitement in his eyes when he shot that deer. That is a true trophy whitetail that he took. What a hunt, what an experience, what a treat to be with David. Oh my goodness, oh. man, what a buck you, and what a shot. Thank you, buddy. What a shot on him. We made a great shot and for only a day and a half of hunting, we had two big whitetails on the ground. So we were very happy and, and quite honestly, very fortunate that it worked out. Look at the beam length on this thing. Oh, I love it. And the character, and Dave, this is an old buck. Look at his ear how he's been fighting. Wow. This thing is ancient now. No. Look at this, Dave. Look no. at all these. These are fighting scars. That's scar tissue right there. That. I know, it's just, it's just, look at that, Aaron. You can see on his head too, look at this here, see? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's an oh, old he's beat bruiser. up here. Just a bruiser. Fights from years gone by. This deer will definitely have a special place on my walk at home. He is a beautiful, magnificent animal. Can't wait to do it again. <laughs>